do is give you a bit of a sense of how do you even go about putting together a 10 minute talk when you've got four different people who've just met each other about something that they're going to hear just over the next few days, right? Um, the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do tomorrow after you've listen to all of the different kind of amazing women and you've talked to them and you've kind of gotten your insights is you're going to come up with a core message right that's going to be the, the the one thing as a group you want to convey to the audience tomorrow now that might be a scientific concept that you've learned um, that might be uh, or a theory it might be a personal story that you found really inspiring it might be a thought you've had as a team that's then reinforced by the various things you've heard of. Um, don't worry too much about figuring what that is now, but hopefully by giving you this framework, if you hear something over the next two days where you think this could be that thing, you can write it down and you can come back to it in the workshop tomorrow, right? So you'll have your core idea. It'll be the, 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 the singular message you want to conv convey to your audience. Um, then you're going to think about how do you, how do you explain and reinforce that core message using stories and examples. So it may be the story of a particular person. It may be a piece of research. It may be a historical story, right? Science is full of great stories. And so hopefully you can think about them and write down some key points about the stuff that really captured your imagination, the stuff where you were listening, you know, that you thought this is important to me. Um, and, and one of the things that I'm going to have you think about tomorrow is why is that important to you? Because chances are that if, if it got you curious and it got you excited and it was interesting to you and you can explain that to the other people in the group and in the room, they will find it exciting, curious and interesting. And that's what people want. Um, you won't have the answers to this right now any of those, the, the core message or the stories or why it's important, because you haven't heard anything yet. But hopefully, if you think about that, think about how are the big ideas you're going to be hearing about brought to life? And think about what makes you, like your ears perk up, what gets you excited, what makes you think, yeah, I want to hear more about this, because chances are other people will too, and that's a great thing to include in your presentation tomorrow. Um, what we'll do tomorrow is, so we don't have time for this right now. I'm going to come to this at the very end because I'm going to just whiz through the next bit. But what I hope you can do now that you've met your group is to think about how am I going to gather information? What are the things I'm going to jot down? Are you all going to take notes? Are you going to circle the big ideas? Are you going to have a little like two minute, you know, check in at the end of a session and think about what you found interesting? The more you can coordinate, the more you can collaborate over the next kind of two couple of days, like like couple of sessions until tomorrow afternoon, the easier it's going to be and the more fun it's going to be to put something together at the end. Um, but one of the things to get you there, like to get you to gain the great information you need to give the presentation, is asking great questions. And I think um, if there's one thing that makes everyone feel nervous, it's asking questions. Um, I hate asking questions. I hated asking questions in an academic setting because uh, my imposter syndrome was really having me at that time and I just feel like I couldn't ask a good question. So I've gone and I found some great interesting articles and research from lots of different places that talks about what are great questions and how do you ask them, right? Um, so this is just some advice. So the first thing is obviously listen. Making sure that you've listened to everything that person is saying and you're not asking them a question about something they've just said, you know, uh, is really important. But make sure you also ask open-ended questions. So not just questions that answers are yes or no, but that allow the person to kind of tell you more. Um, what is it, when you've heard that person speak, what part of that where did you feel like, I wish I heard more about this thing? You know, you've told me like X, Y, Z, and I want to hear like X, A, and X, B, and X, C, right? Like the little bits in between, because I found that so interesting. You can hone in on that. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for clarification. So I did say listen, right? So don't just ask them about something they've already said. But that doesn't mean don't ask for clarification. If someone said something and you didn't understand it, or you wanted more detail, or you wa weren't really sure, this is the whole point, right, of this, these, this workshop. So don't be afraid to ask about that. Because again, chances are that if you're not sure, most people are in the room, or at least a few other people won't be sure. Like, this was a great 
example here, when you ask, like, what's this presentation meant to be? One, one person in this group asked, what's the presentation meant to be about? And then I heard, like, like nodding and, like, yeses over here, because there were multiple people who had the same question. So that's always great. Um, don't feel the need to give, like, a long preamble or explanation about why you're asking this question, right? You want to give the, the speaker as much time as possible to answer it. So you know, feel like feel free. You don't need to like say, oh, I'm asking this because you know I have this background and I'm not sure and this and that. And by the way, I have my question. Like just go to the question. And that's cool. Don't put yourself down, right? There's no need to say, I'm not very smart, so I didn't really understand what you're saying, or whatever that might be for you. Doesn't you know? It, it, you don't need to do it, so you don't don't do it. And on the other hand, do you make sure you're asking questions and not making comments? I know that I, some of the older people in the room may really feel me on that one, but there's a lot of places where you go where people will say, it's more of a comment, really, rather than a question. Um, that's cool. If it's, if it's a discussion section, then that's what they want. But if it's a question section, you know, that they want questions. So think about them as questions, want to find out more information. And this is a big one, right? You said, someone said about the, you know, like, uh, not being sure how to like, get those words out right in the beginning. I'm like that. I, I don't know how to formulate the question right out of my mouth. You know? So I always write it down so that I kind of can almost read it. Um, everyone will be different, but feel free to do that.